At least four aerial objects were shot down by U.S. fighter jets in just over a week. Four of them. One was the Chinese surveillance balloon that fell into the waters off the South Carolina coast. But the other three, they have still not been identified. There is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Darn it, I was so into that for a second. So then what are they? Joining us this morning to talk about this is former U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security and current partner at the legal firm of Paul Weiss, Jay. Jay Johnson, nice to have you here. Nice to see you in person. Right, after interviewing me so many times remote during COVID, here remote. I'm here in person. Uh, forgive me, I am still trying to get my head around single awareness day. <laughs> Are um, you single, just so we know? No, I'm okay. definitely not single. Okay. I'm happily married for 30 years, but I do have two kids who are single. I know. They I need have to, celebrate. to tell them about they this. They have to celebrate today. Mine too. We're going to celebrate today. <laughs> uh, let's get down to uh, these flying objects. Uh, one of them we know was a Chinese spy balloon, right? Yes. Okay. It, it seems from everything our government has told us, that the balloon, you know, in the Pentagon, everything is an acronym. They're calling it a HAB, so High that, Altitude Balloon, okay. ha a HAB, H-A-B. I said, just call it a balloon. Okay, right. it's a balloon. Right. Um, Chinese in origin. Uh, the initial talking points from China were that it was a, it's a weather balloon. It looks more like it was surveillance. Um, and we shot it down off the coast of South Carolina. I do not second guess why or when we shot it down. I've been in the Situation Room. I've been in the basement of the Pentagon during various operations, and those of us on the outside can't know all the considerations that went into what they did, why they did it, when they did it. Now, the other three are the big question mark. There are much more, many more questions than there are answers at this point. Were they balloons? Uh, what was keeping them afloat in the air? Were they from China, someplace else? The latest that seems to be coming out of the government from the White House is that these might, might have been commercial in origin, some sort of research, aerial devices. So why isn't anybody claiming it? That was my yeah. balloon. That's a good question. That's a very good question. Why isn't some research center or some commercial interest claiming, hey, you shot down my, my drone or my balloon or my, my plane. That's a, that's a big mystery. Mm, okay, well, we have still many more questions as to possibly they're saying that this happened in the previous administration, but why was it NORAD, you know, making sure that their devices were a bit more sensitive to see these things? Well, sitting here on the outside with you in this studio, <laughs> um, but with the prior experience I've had, it does seem hard to believe that had we not shot down the balloon, mm -hmm. the, the first one, you know, had we not had that whole experience, we would have still shot down these other three. Yeah. I have to believe that an unidentified aerial object, we're purposely not calling them UFOs, we're calling right. them UAOs, I have to believe that this is not uh, a rare incident. That this is a relatively frequent phenomenon mm -hmm. over remote areas of North America. Uh, but we typically don't shoot them down, so... So what does that mean, that we shot them down? Our government needs to explain what that means. Are they uh, going to? Uh, sitting here, I do not know why we took the action we took with regard to these later three. I feel like, you know, the president, because he got criticized that this Chinese spy balloon was, you know, floating all over our country, and it took a while for the, the government to take it down, that then they became like trigger happy, mm. sending the fighter jets out there and shooting any balloon that was up in the air. Well, in the absence of real information, one could make that conjecture. First of all, I don't, I don't criticize at all shooting down the balloon off the coast of South Carolina when we did. Had we shot it down, this thing was the equivalent of three school buses, they said. Had we shot it down over the continental U.S., it might have caused real damage. So. Taking it down when we did off the coast of the U.S. while still in U.S. territorial waters was probably the right thing to do. Um, the other three, I, our government still needs to do a lot of explaining to understand so they why ruled, and what it was. Yeah, so they ruled out unidentified flying objects. I was so disappointed. She really wanted it to be an alien. <laughs> we call them UAOs. Okay. Unidentified but, aerial or airborne you, objects. You're with, you, you are with Homeland Security. I was. Is there life out there? 
You want to know from me? Yes. I was only responsible, Rosanna, I was only responsible for the homeland. I wasn't <laughs> responsible for the homeland. Is and there beyond. another homeland beyond that we don't ah, know? That's the question. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I do want to actually, though, um, speaking about Department of Homeland Security, uh, there's some talks about potentially uh, impeachment for current Secretary Mayorkas over his handling over the border crisis. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? How, how do you think this could have been handled better? Well, Alan Mayorkas was my deputy secretary when I was secretary. Um, <clears throat> the Republican caucus in the House does not have the votes mm -hmm. to impeach him. It's a majority vote, 218. The votes aren't there. Unfortunately, they're going to make his life miserable mm -hmm. and over the southern border. Let's not forget that the Secretary of Homeland Security has multiple responsibilities. Immigration, border security, aviation security, port security, the Secret Service, FEMA, cyber security. And so attacking him for the southern border, and this is obviously an important issue, but attacking him on that one issue, making his life difficult on that one issue, does did tend he fail to in that issue, though? pull him away from a whole lot of other important issues. But did he fail in that issue? Or what uh, you've seen? The problem is bigger, way bigger than when I was in office. Hmm. Uh, annually, we would get between three and 400,000 a month, uh, a year, border crossings in 2015, 2016. We're now getting that in something yeah. like a matter of, of weeks. The right, problem yeah. is way bigger because there are many more countries contributing to the problem. Venezuela, Haiti, uh, Cuba, Would you have Nicaragua. done things differently if you were in, in charge? Well, here's my friendly advice. Um, which I've said a number of times publicly now. <clears throat> Illegal immigration is very sensitive to information about perceived changes in our enforcement policy. So you have to send a strong enforcement message to Central America, to these countries where people are coming from, and you have to repeat yourself over and over and over again. And we're not doing that. Uh, there's a right way and a wrong way to come here. Yep. Come here the wrong way, we will send you back. And you have to show that you're actually sending people back. Are I used we to doing that? Um, no. Not as much as I would like to see, <laughs> frankly. When I, I would go to Guatemala and Honduras, and I would go to the airport, and I would stand on the tarmac as people we were deporting back to those countries wow. were coming off the ICE aircraft, and I'd bring the press with me because I wanted people yeah. in those countries to see that we were actually sending people back. Hmm. And so they haven't done that with this administration, have they? We need to do this continually. In, in Washington, in this country, Nobody hears you until you've repeated yourself 35 times. Yeah. Interesting. Right. You know that. Yeah. yeah. Right? No, I know. It's like with my kids, too, unless I do it 25 <laughs> times at least. Maybe it's with the aliens as well. I mean, stop <laughs> sending the balloons over. We're going to send that message a couple more times. 35? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, meanwhile, uh, Homeland Department of Homeland Security celebrating 20 years. Yes. March 1st. March 20 1st. years. Mm -hmm. We are still a work in progress. Mm -hmm. um, in some respects, DHS seems very big. In some respects, it's not big right. enough. It was a political compromise, like everything else right. in, in Washington. And it's still a work in progress. You know, the Department of Defense was created in 1947, and it wasn't until 1986 that Congress enacted something called Goldwater Nichols, which really restructured the Department of Defense in a way that made sense. That was 40 years. Mm. So um, DHS is still very much a work in progress and right. it needs stable long-standing leadership to really set in place some of the better aspects of a bureaucracy so uh, if i were to hire you at paul weiss what would be my problem oh, you, well, <laughs> first of all i love paul weiss it's been my private yes. practice home yes. since 1984 yes. So what kind of work do you do there? If you ever had to hire Paul Weiss, yes, it's because I'm, you had I'm a really very big problem. <laughs> you had a very big Do not problem, even speak okay? that into existence, Rosanna. I don't Rosanna. want any more problems in my life. Not on wood. Enough. Secretary Jay Johnson, thank you so much for coming on Good Day New Thanks York. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.